MIDI pitch of strong click and MIDI pitch of weak click. Now let's say that we're going to make a song that is going to be 92 beats per minute. We, are going, we can also choose um, to like choose how many uh, beats per measure, like one, two, three, four, and then the beat starts. Yeah. What is happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Audacity tutorial. It is Thursday, so it means a new video for you guys. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about something that I have, that I have never shown before, and that is how to add a metronome or a click track, how you wanna call this, in Audacity. Now, before this video starts, I want to quickly ask you guys to smash the like button down below, and I have really exciting news, guys. Upcoming Tuesday, the 23rd of May, my silver play button will arrive. You know, the, rep the plaque that you get when you reach 100,000 subscribers. I've been waiting for over five weeks to get this plaque and finally I got the track and trace code and on the page it says that it's going to arrive on May 23rd at around 6 p.m. So in the video, the unboxing of that will go up on Wednesday the 24th, the day after I received it. So make sure to stay tuned and that will also replace the Vegas tutorial of next Wednesday. So that is really, really exciting news. So with that being said, let's jump into, the, into today's video and let's start off. So as you can see, we are in Audacity as always and it is really, really simple to add a metronome or a click track. So let's say that you want to uh, make a song or track guitar bass vocals drums anything it is really really important that you are staying on time so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to generate mostly we're always going to effect but right now we're going to go to generate and we're going to pick click track now as you can see this box is popping up and right here you can choose how fast it goes and how like the tempo the beats per minute the bpm uh the beats per measure the numbers of measure optical click track duration minutes or seconds in individual click duration uh, start time offset click sound noise click resonance midi pitch of strong click and midi pitch of weak click now let's say that we're going to make a song that is going to be 92 beats per minute we, are going, we can also choose um, to like choose how many uh, beats per measure like one two three four and then the beat starts or you can do one two three four five and then the new beats well the, the new click track uh, track starts that's all you know in kind of an offset but right here we're gonna just keep it on standard four by four that is how we're gonna do it so we can also choose if we if you want to have a ping a noise or a tick so let's click on ping and let's preview what it sounds like So that is our metronome, that sounds really great, but we can also pick just a regular noise. But that sounds, it, 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 it almost sounds that it's, that it's like a stuttering metronome, so I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't recommend picking noise. We can also uh, choose tick. As you guys can hear. So what you can do is, I'm just going to pick uh, the ping, and we can also uh, make it uh, four beats per measure, or we can put it eight. So that's what it sounds like, like this. So as you can hear, it sounds really great, and we have eight beats per measure, and it sounds like we can just count along with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the new one starts. So this is how you add a metronome or a click track into Audacity. And once we click on OK, as you can see, we have all the ticks right here, and this is how it sounds. So obviously we can just pick uh, something else. We can make it way faster, like 120 BPM. It sounds like this. One two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is how you add a metronome or a click track in Audacity. It's really simple. So I want to thank you for the continued support. I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial as always on Friday. So thank you for the support and I will see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.